Hi everyone. I wanted to share some slightly different content with you. I've done a few library book hauls of the physical books, but I also get digital content from my local library. Apologize if you can hear the train. And I wanted to show you the two apps that I've mainly been using and what I've got. So it's my digital library book haul. The two apps are Libby and Hoopla. And if you go to my Libby, you can see Chicago Public Library. That's where I am. This is its home page. There's also a search page, which I'm embarrassing in showing it to you. But these are the books that I have out. You'll also, you can look at your holds and things of that nature. Some of these books, if you follow along, I've already read because I don't necessarily read books in the order in which I get them, but they stay on my shelf until it's time to return them. Now you'll notice that it says read with Kindle next to it. And this is why I actually prefer Libby. You can download books to your Kindle and I prefer an e-reader versus staring at the glowing screen of my phone. So if you were going to, it takes you to Amazon, you click a button that says get book and it will show up in your Kindle library for you to read on any device if it's the kindle app on your phone your ipad or an actual kindle now that's different from hoopla which is the second app that i use this is the home screen again you'll see chicago public library and this has a lot of other digital media audiobooks comics tv shows movies things of that nature now my biggest challenge with this app is that you have to access this in the app. So I really want to get into audiobooks here because you can get so many. But for books, I um I pretty much only got books that I love that I've read and that I or that I can't find other places or I'm on a really long hold because it's hard for me to read on my app. So this is Kissing Tolstoy, Penny Read. I'm literally like downloading it in front of you and it just takes a while and then even the scroll just doesn't feel intuitive to me you can't continue a scroll like you do on even a kindle app so i don't love using it as much but it's a resource that i want to support in the library so these are the two main apps that i use you saw what i have rented and i hope you enjoyed this thanks y'all